Hi, welcome to this Columbus product video. Today, we would like to show you how to split an invoice by using Invoice Workflow for Microsoft Dynamics AX. Invoice Workflow for Microsoft Dynamics AX enables you to save time and reduce administrative costs while improving the consistency and reliability of invoice processing. Implement the invoicing practices that best fit your business with the configurable, versatile workflow. Increase the efficiency and accuracy of finance management by eliminating paper invoices and needless data entry. Accelerate invoice processing to take advantage of early payment discounts and elevate your relationships with vendors and suppliers. Let's have a look at the software and see how to take a cost invoice and split out the lines to where it goes to different dimensions, which then brought different individuals for them to approve. We'll also show that the email notification can go out, as well as looking at the external web coin that is available for users to use to approve their invoices. So our first step, of course, our invoices are already imported. So we want to go straight to the invoice overview form. I'm going to search to pull off all the records, and we do this based on transaction date. I'm going to look for a particular cost invoice. So, this is the one that I'd want to use. You could see the invoice number. So from here, because this is an accessible file, click on the invoice lines, and I can see the additional detail that was brought in. So this is not a cure if you aren't using an OCR solution or some sort of accessible file type of import to bring the data into these different lines. So from here, I want to go ahead and quote those in the lower left-hand corner under the posting section. And to make it a little bit easier, you can see you have a total here. You can split these lines. I want them to go to two different departments for approval. So I click the split lines button and you can see it split, seeing out based on the invoice lines that are up here. So, from here, when you go ahead and select My Accounting and do the same for the second line, once you made sure that you have all of the data entered into the particular lines, you're then ready to use that close status. And from there, it's going to validate where those particular transactions are going to go. So, I've keyed everything in on this particular field here, which is the department. There's that third element over. That is where my particular procurement dimension groups are set. Click Close. You can see that both lines are prescribing to Alicia. And you can see if I scroll over here a little bit to the left, you can see the different dimension groups. So she's able to approve everything within those two different dimensions. But it does create two different lines, one for each. Should she not be applicable for one of those particular dimensions? Now, Alicia is gone, go and approve it in the system. So I'm going to bring up her window, because she is logged in as herself into AX, and she is in the external web client. So the first thing I want to do is open up her email. So you can see that different emails come through. So my first option here, you can see the different messages. This is something that you can configure. And if I click on that, it's going to open over to the external web client, which I do already have opened. So if I click on that, I can see the invoices that she has available for approving. I'm going to do a quick refresh to bring in the latest information and go back to the main list of vouchers. So you can see here that this is the invoice that she's ready to approve. So from here, she can use this button. She can go over to the Approval tab and click that. That's entirely a configuration set up there. So from here, I'll just click Approve, and I need to do it for both lines because she is assigned to both of those. As you can see that that first one that I already approved gets rewritten for procuration. So we go ahead and approve that second line, and then Invoice will then disappear off her list. So, it's now ready to that next person line for them to go ahead and approve. At this point, once that final person has approved the invoice, we'll then post to the invoice register and they will be ready to subsequent payment. 
This ends the product video. For more information, please visit www.columbusglobal.com. Thank you for watching.